All right, welcome back to the channel. So Jamal Charlo gives Canelo Alvarez a ton of props and actually defends him from accusations of being a fraud and says, this guy is a real fighter. Very, very good take, honest take from Jamal Charlo, but at the same time, I completely understand where his fans are coming from. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back, welcome back. So, Jamal Charlo, my favorite 160 pound fighter. Uh, and he's my favorite because um, he's from Texas in the United States and I am biased. I live in Texas, <laughs> I'm from the United States. I've been watching Jamal Charlo and Jamel Charlo fight for years. And I do believe that both he and his brother are top pound for pound fighters. Uh, it is beyond, it's not beyond me, but if I didn't know what a sham the uh, mainstream boxing media was, it would surprise me that he is not known, Jamal and Jamel actually, as two of the top fighters in the world. Now, saying that Jamal Charlo is one of the top fighters in the world is not the same thing as saying that Canelo Alvarez is not one heck of a fighter, because he is. This man is highly skilled, he is has a ton of experience. He can fight on the inside. He's not that, he's not the fastest guy in the world, but he does crack quite a wallop. And you cannot deny the, um, the accomplishments of Canelo Alvarez. Um, he is, uh, by many people consider him the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And I would have a hard time arguing against that if it had not been for the fact that he had tested positive for performance enhancing drugs. And even then, I might give him some type of break just because I really like Canelo Alvarez, love his fighting style. I would give him a break if he had been fighting the top fighters, but he's not. And that is the criticism that continues to get pointed directly at Canelo Alvarez from uh, Charlo fans like myself, many people in new media, many people in the LDBC are saying the same thing. Yeah, Canelo looks good from what we can see, but who is he fighting, right? Go back and look at the last several fights of Canelo Alvarez, and you can see that they have been very carefully match made to make Canelo Alvarez look excellent, to make, to, to make it look like he is leaps and bounds above anybody else that is his contemporary or anybody else that's in his weight class. Um, and I just think that that is just not true. However, I have to say that Jamal Charlo has shown restraint and he has shown respect to Canelo Alvarez through this whole thing. If you look at how most fighters would behave, if they were in the scenario, the same scenario as Jamal Charlo, what you would find is that they would be ticked. They would be calling their, um, the guy that is ducking them, everything under the sun, right? Just go look down at Devin Haney, and Tiafimo Lopez, right? Tiafimo Lopez, in my opinion, is clearly ducking Devin Haney because there are all kinds of technical problems that Devin Haney could give to Tiafimo Lopez. They're both very developed, they're both developing fighters, right? But if you listen to the tone of Devin Haney, though he is very respectful of Tiafimo Lopez, and I actually believe that he said that Tiafimo Lopez was more of a threat than. Uh, Gervonta Davis is right so although he gives him his credit he's still pushing on him and saying look you're ducking me you're ducking me son who says that Keith Thurman you're ducking me son don't duck me right and pushing and pushing and pushing to get that fight same thing you have you can see from guys like Gary Russell Jr. when he's ducked by guys like um shoot could say Devin Haney ducked him right like look man this guy don't want that smoke with me because he knows he's gonna lose he know Gary Russell Jr. I think what he say about Devin Haney called him said ah oh, man this guy looks like a professional amateur right and you'll hear this over and over again from fighters that are in a position where they know they're highly skilled and they know that the person next to them has the accolades has the titles has the media behind them and they then just go into attack mode and are trying to force 
a spectacle to be uh, witnessed by boxing fans. To the credit of Jamal Charlo, he does not engage in that. And I, the reason that I say to his credit is two reasons. First, Canelo Alvarez is not a joke. Canelo Alvarez has every bit of ability necessary to beat Jamal Charlo. I'm not saying that he will beat Jamal Charlo because I would actually favor Jamal Charlo in that fight for stylistic reasons, but I'm not a fool. Eddie Reynoso out of that camp is an excellent, excellent trainer. He's an excellent game planner. He knows what Jamal Charlo's weaknesses are, and I believe that they have the brain trust there that to develop a plan which would allow Canelo Alvarez you know, to take, to take advantage of that. Um, so I love the fact that Jamal Charlo does not diminish Canelo Alvarez because maybe in his own mind, he might think, be tempted to think, oh, this guy don't want to fight me clearly, right? At 154 pounds, I was there at 154 pounds with Canelo. He wouldn't fight me. At 160 pounds, I was the mandatory for Canelo Alvarez, and he wouldn't fight me. At 168 pounds, Canelo Alvarez is fighting, um, what was this guy's name? Uh, well, at 168 pounds, he fought Rocky Fielding. He fought Callum Smith, who was a brother of another UK fighter he knocked out, Liam Smith, right? Now he's supposed to be fighting some guy that was knocked out, I mean, rolled through by uh, a, not a lower level fighter because I think Chris Eubank is a very, very good fighter, but I don't think anybody really believes that Chris Eubank is as high a quality of fighter as Canelo Alvarez. And this guy, Yeldemir, is actually a former sparring partner of Canelo. That's who they're fighting. And then from there, it looks like he might even be interested in a Caleb Plant fight. Now, Caleb Plant is no joke. That kid out of Tennessee is a real fighter, but I'll believe it when I see it when that fight happens. Because I believe that there are things that are, going, that are happening to Canelo Alvarez's body. Being somebody that turned professional somewhere around the age of, God, when was the age that he turned, turned pro? Somewhere around... 15, he might have been 15 years old when he turned pro, right? 15 years old, he's almost 30. That's 15 years as a professional going through, going through the camps, right? Going through the training camp, going through the fight, right? Going through the emotional wear and tear that it takes to be in those competitions. Jamal Charlo on the other end, and being somebody that has already made it to the top of the mountain right? He's already made it to the top and looking down on everybody else. Glad that these guys understand or that Jamal Charlo understands that. Now, what is actually going to happen moving forward? I do believe that Jamal Charlo and that will get, will get that Canelo Alvarez fight. I do believe it. And the reason that I believe that is because I think that I know that Canelo Alvarez has a lot of heart. The Canelo Alvarez does not want people like me, people like uh, in other boxing channels, continually running this guy's name through the mud because he won't fight Jamal Charlo. It is my deep hope that this fight will happen. But if it doesn't, it's not going to be because Jamal Charlo made such a big spectacle that it gave Canelo Alvarez his team an excuse not to make that fight, right? And if he's lucky enough to get that fight, He's not going to be fooled as to the skill set and the abilities of Canelo Alvarez and the danger that is posed by fighting Canelo Alvarez. So all in all, love what Jamal Charlo said. I uh, love his approach. But as a boxing fan, I can't ride with him in that regard. I have to push for the fight because that's a fight that I want to see, that I want to spend my money on, and that I think boxing fans deserve. But that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace.